In this video, I'm going to show you how to successfully and easily flash the Smota firmware on ESP32 board and not only that, we are also going to make our own home automation project using that in which we'll be able to control appliances using both manual switches as well as the web application. So if it sounds interesting to you, then just stick around and let's get started with the video. Now let's just start with the basic introduction of Tasmota, uh, which I don't think required in 2020, but still a very basic introduction. So Tasmota is kind of a pre-written code or you can say a firmware for ESP based boards. So earlier it was only for Sonoff and ESP8266 boards, but recently they also announced a firmware for ESP32 based board, which is still in beta version. But don't worry, I'll let you know oh, how to flash that successfully and how to use that as well. It's quite working perfectly fine in that ESP32 dev kit v1 okay so using Desmoda you can easily make home automation project without writing a single line of code yes uh, using Desmoda you don't need to have any knowledge of coding a uh, while uh, to make the Desmoda firmware the developers have used uh, so many programming languages for that maybe it's a javascript maybe it's html maybe it's c c++ and so many things but as a user, you don't need to know about any of this language for making a home automation project using Tasmota. So uh, this is a quite simple introduction. Tasmota is a firmware using which you can make your projects, the home automation projects using ESP based boards quite easily. So that's a very basic introduction of Tasmota firmware. And with that basic introduction, let's just dive in how to flash the firmware for ESP32 board. But before that, let me thank LTM Designer for sponsoring out this video. So LTM is basically a PCB designing software company and it's not just another company. The designer software, the PCB designer software made by this company is widely used by all the multinational companies in the field of electronics. Uh, maybe it's Texas Instruments, maybe it's Siemens, Seagates and so many other companies. So uh, recently they contacted me and they just provided me their software to use and I along with my team started using their software which we all you know, find it very easy to use and uh, one more benefit of using this LTM software is that your PCB designing skills will improve a lot. This is really very easy to use platform and not only easy to use but this is widely accepted by most of the companies. So if you start using LTM designer software for your PCB projects, well you'll develop some really interesting and really uh, useful skills which may prove useful if you are planning to make your career in this PCB designing or the electronics market. So just try out the free trial of this LTM designer software and if you find it interesting and useful, you may continue using this software. The link is in the description. That being said, coming back to this video and now let us see the steps uh, required to you know flash the firmware onto the ESP32 board. So first of all, we need to download the firmware file for ESP32 board which you can get it from the github page of Tasmota. Just download this Tasmota 32.bin file. Now along with the firmware file, we also require some other files to be flashed on ESP32 board, which you can directly download it from my GitHub account. Now the necessary links and all the details regarding this project is already mentioned in one of the article on my website whose link you can find in the description of this video. After you get all the required files, you need to download one flasher tool for flashing all the files onto our ESP32 board uh, from the official website of Espressive Systems and this software is only available for Windows so just make sure you have a Windows system with you. Now after downloading and extracting that file, just start this application called flash download tool. After starting that application, just go to developer mode and here click on ESP32. Now here you just need to select the parts of the file you just downloaded. First will be for the bootloader file. Second will be for the partition table. Third will be for the actual firmware. And fourth will be for spiffs. In the end just make all the configurations and addresses shown on the screen. After that just select the right COM port and click on the start button. It will start flashing the firmware on ESP32 board. After successfully flashing it, just click on the stop button. Now with this, we successfully flashed the firmware of Tasmota on ESP32 board. Now we need to provide our Wi-Fi credentials just to make sure the ESP32 board gets connected to our Wi-Fi router. And to provide the Wi-Fi credentials, you have to download one application called Termite, whose link is also mentioned in the same article. Now after installing that application, just open it up. Here, first select the right COM port. 
and set the baud rate to 115200. After that, click on this button to make a handshake between both the devices. Now first, we need to provide the SID name of our router and for that, just type here as SSID1 space your router's SID name. After that, press enter. Now, we need to provide the password and for that, just write password1 space your router's password and just press enter. With this, the ESP32 board will get successfully connected to your Wi-Fi router and the router will also provide a local IP address to our ESP32 board using which we can further configure this board. So that was all about flashing the firmware and providing the Wi-Fi credentials to our ESP32 board. Now before I show you how to configure our ESP32 board according to the appliances, let me just show you the hardware part of the project because that's very important before jumping onto configuration part. So to make this project, you need to have all these components and you need to connect them all according to the circuit diagram shown in the article. Now to make this project more compact and sturdy, I just designed my own custom PCB for this project and gave its order directly to GLC PCB. Now I always prefer GLC PCB for my PCB related projects as ordering PCBs online through their platform is very easy and very straightforward. You just need to upload the Gerber file of your PCB project. Select the color masking if you really want it and after that just pay for your order. Now within 10 to 15 days you'll be getting the PCBs delivered at your doorstep. So try out JLC PCB for your next PCB related orders. Now after getting the PCBs and shouldering the components on it, I just attach this project into one of the switchboard at my studio according to the connection diagram whose image is attached into the same article. So that was all about the hardware part of the project. Now let us move ahead with the last step for this project and that is to configure our ESP32 board over the air. Now as our ESP32 board already got its own local IP address, we just need to copy that and paste that IP address into our browser. Now here in the web browser, we need to configure all the relays and the switches. For that, click on configuration button and here click on configure module. So here first need to select the module as ESP32 Dev Kit 0 which is the same ESP32 board I am using for this project. After that we need to assign the switch and relay to particular GPIO pin of ESP32 board. For example, the first switch of our project is attached to GPIO 32. So I will assign a switch to GPIO 32 with number 1 which reveals that it is the first switch. Similarly, the first relay of our project is attached to GPIO 15. So I will assign a relay to GPIO 15 with the number 1. So we successfully assigned one switch and one relay to our Tasmota dashboard. So similarly, we will assign other three relays and switches according to the pin number shown on the screen. Now after assigning everything, just click on the save button which will save all our configurations. With this, we are done with all the configuration part of this project. So now let's just see this project in action. So yeah, as you can see, I'm able to control the appliances both with the web application as well as with the manual switches whose feedback I'm getting onto the dashboard. So yeah, we successfully made our home automation project without writing even single line of code. So do click that like button if you really find this method of home automation project interesting and easy to make. Do click that like button. Now you all being my audience must already know that I made several home automation projects based on several different platforms starting with Adafruit.io to Ubidots to Blink, Synrig, Voiceflow and now this Tasmota. And in majority of that home automation videos, I got a really great engagement which reveals that most of my audience are really fond of this home automation and IoT stuff. So with that uh, engagements and with that uh, data, I'm planning to expand this home automation concept way more wider and broader. So I'm planning to start my own home automation series based on some advanced uh, platforms to make the home automation projects uh, just like Node-RED, Home Assistant and in the end, I'm also planning to make my uh, very own home automation server for you know controlling the appliances from anywhere in the world. So these are the plans uh, which me along with my team have planned uh, for you all guys. So just comment below this video about 
are you interested in learning this kind of concept like node red and home assistant kind of stuff if you are you really interested will you be uh, excited for these kind of videos yes or no do let me know your genuine feedback uh, regarding this home automation series plans into the comments of this video your comments really matter because if you all are interested then we will be more excited to make this series okay just do let me know your genuine thoughts in the comment of this video i really appreciate your comment so that being said ending this video here don't forget to like and comment below this video and now just wait for my next video and then explore learn share with me techie sms